Each year, West Point brings rising high school seniors to West Point to experience the life of a cadet. They live in the barracks, they eat in the mess hall, they go to academic classes taught by West Point instructors. They spend a day out doing military training. They handle live weapons, they shoot blanks, they crawl through the mud, they apply face paint, and they get a sense of whether life as a cadet at West Point is right for them, uh, whether or not they want to serve in the military. Out of the 1,100 high school students that attend SLE, between 150 and 180 cadet candidates, as we call them, will seek medical care in one way or another. Since 2016, we've started bringing in Army Reserve medics doctors and nurses. Without them, we absolutely couldn't run this kind of a program as safely as we have done it. On the Army Reserve side, the Army Reserve gains real-world medical treatment. It's not a simple, you know, FTX or CSTX where it's patient play. They're do practicing real-world medicine here and treating real live patients. So I came in, I felt really nauseous, like I was about to pass out, and that happened for most of the morning. So my squad leader took me over to the med van, and they sat me down, they helped me out very fast. Being treated by them, and especially feeling so cared for, they made me feel like I was a friend to them. It really just helped boost my like morale for them. The impact is, before, West Point did not know anything about the AMED or the Army Reserves. Today, the superintendent of West Point has said, we cannot live without the Army Reserve and the Army Reserve AMED. It's a force multiplier. It keeps these cadet candidates engaged in the fight. And what do we want to do in the AMED? Treat the soldier as far forward as possible and return them to the fight and they can continue training here.